In this video, you're going to learn how to create your first roadmap in Strategic Roadmaps. To start, you'll click Plus Roadmap in the top right-hand corner. You can click New Roadmap to create a roadmap from scratch, or you can build your first roadmap from a template with this option here. Strategic Roadmaps comes with several templates you can use to get started, or you can even build your own. In this video, we're going to build a roadmap from scratch. To start the process, you'll give your roadmap a title. You'll want to be sure your title is detailed enough that your users in Strategic Roadmaps know exactly what is being visualized on that roadmap. If you'd like, you can also change the fiscal year end of your roadmap with this dropdown here, and you can turn on Date Inheritance, which automatically sets the parent item start and end dates to the earliest and latest dates of their child items for all items and views in this roadmap. Once all of your settings are filled out, you'll click Create. You now have the foundation of your first roadmap. However, in order to build out your visualizations of your work, you're going to need to add items. Items represent the pieces of work, the features, or whatever you're trying to visualize on your roadmap. You have two options when adding items to your roadmap. You can either add items manually, or you can create a CSV file with all of your items included and import the file into strategic roadmaps. I'm going to import a file. To do this, I'll click Import CSV, and then follow the steps on the Import CSV screens to upload my file. Some advice for your first time importing items is to download the CSV template from Strategic Roadmaps. This makes sure that your file has all the right headings and the right formatting in order to import it without any errors. I already have my file ready, so I'm gonna click here to upload the file. I'll then map my fields. Strategic Roadmaps will automatically map your fields for you, but if you do need to make any adjustments, all you do is click into the header and choose the new field you want to map it to. You'll then click Next once you've reviewed your field mappings, and then you'll click Update and Overwrite All to import your items. You can see here that now my items exist in the roadmap, but when they come in, they're displayed as a list. Since we're trying to create visualizations of the work on our roadmap, what we'll need to do next is create views in our roadmap. To do this, click into the viewfinder on the left-hand side, and then click the plus sign to add a new view. Your views allow you to visualize the items on your roadmap, and you have two visualization types that you can choose from when creating your views. If your team doesn't rely heavily on dates and likes more flexible road mapping, you can choose the swim lane view. If your team works off of milestones and relies heavily on dates, the timeline view is a great option for your visualization. You can also create more than one view, so if your team wants to use both, that's totally fine. I'm gonna start with the swim lane view. You'll give your view a title, and then I'll click Create. As you can see, the items on my roadmap are broken down in each swim lane by their end date. The items in your swim lane view appear as cards. You can click into each individual card to see its details. If you would like to change your headers on your roadmap, you can always do this by going into the format section over here. Not only can you change your headers, but you can change the entire layout of the view, update the way the cards look, and also change the colors and your date settings. We now have a swim lane visualization of our product roadmap. However, our team also wants a timeline view of these items. We're going to create another view to visualize it in that way. To do this, we'll click swim lane view to open the viewfinder and click the plus sign to add a new view. We'll repeat the steps we used to create our swim lane view, but instead we'll choose the timeline visualization type. Next, I'll click create. Now you can see that we have a timeline of the items on our roadmap. You can adjust the date range that's visualized on the roadmap with this sliding scale here. You can also adjust your headers as well as the formatting of your view 
with the format button that we used on our swim lane view as well. As you can see here, we don't have any headers on our timeline view. And if you'd like to add one, you can use the drop down here. My team wants to break down the timeline view by work stream. So I'll click the work stream field in order to update that on our roadmap. As a reminder, you can also update your colors and dates of the roadmap in the formatting section. And you can also adjust the way your items look. If you want to look at the details of an item in the timeline view, you'll simply click the bar under the label for the item. Now that we've created our roadmap and have added our visualizations or views, we want to give access to the appropriate users so they can view the roadmap as well. To do this, you'll click share and you'll invite the users that you want to have access to the roadmap. You can choose their role if you want them to be able to edit the roadmap or only view the items on it, and then you'll click save. If you would like to publicly share this roadmap, you can do that as well. To do that, click export preview, and automatically the share setting will be a URL. On the right hand side here, you can adjust the settings of the URL and how your roadmap displays via that link. For example, if you'd like to put a password on your roadmap so that it has a restriction, you're able to do that over here. Once you update all the settings and click publish to URL, it will generate a shareable link for your roadmap. You can also create an HTML file with your roadmap or you can create an image download it and send it to any stakeholders you'd like to. We also recommend when you create a roadmap that you're going to be using frequently that you favorite it. To do that, click the star next to the title of the roadmap. Then when you log into strategic roadmaps, it will automatically take you to your favorite roadmaps so you can easily find them. Thanks for watching.